more. Less? I don't want to install. I guess I'll play. Did it just crash? Okay, I thought it crashed on the emulator. Hey, Hawkins! Nice to see you again! Ah! If you want to start an adventure from the very beginning, tap the new button. Okay, I get that. I'm not stupid. Adventure, tap the load button. If you want to explore your favorite world, tap the button for that world. If you want to leave your adventure, tap the quit button. Okay. <laughs> Oh, welcome. I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my assistant, Beaker. Yeah, excuse me, Dr. Honeydew. We need Beaker in Bristol right away. Oh, there he goes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Kermit. Yeah, come on out and introduce yourself to Hawkins. Thank you, sir. Hey, ho, Kermit the Frog here. It's Kermit. Oh, Kermit. I got some great new pirate jokes for the game. Uh, well, not now, Fozzy. You see, wait, we wait. Did you hear the one about the pirate who kept falling down? Uh, they called him Black and Bluebeard. Ah, waka waka. Any more jokes like that, Fozzy, and you'll waka waka the plank. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Can I use that? <laughs> uh, sure, but but first you have to take your place in Bristol, please. No. Yeah, go ahead, right back to the door. Yep. What the fuck? Okay. Now where's the parrot? Ah! Ah, Stevenson! You're the help character! You go and help already! <clears throat> Hiya, Hawkins! Say, welcome to the game! So I know you're asking yourself, Self, why is this parrot calling me Hawkins? Wasn't he the hero of Treasure Island? Right, right, wrong! Haha! <laughs> you're the new Hawkins and hero! And oh. I'm your Stevenson! I'll be on my perch. Ah. What the hell? That's cool. Here's something else. Just tap on me once if you need any help. Tap on me twice if you're ready to see your stuff. Anytime you're ready, I'm ready. Ah! Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, start the opening. Woo! Do, 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 do. Hey, you bastard. I wanted to click that. Does it say activating or activision? I was Flint's first mate that voyage. Three days east of Tortola in the Caribbean. Flint knew an island. Where's the rat? That's oh, where we great. The treasure. Billy Conley is. Oh, collect. Billy Conley. I they know who that Flint's is. Trademarks. He'd leave both behind them. Huh. That day. Oh, no, I'm Hawkins. Oh, no, what am I to do? What am I to do? Hmm. And no one knows to this day what happened to the treasure. There's Billy Connolly. Or the treasure map. I Maybe think. you'll find them. Hey, Hawkins. Hawkins? Ha! <laughs> Tell us what about the hell? Things, Mr. Bones. My favorite's the story about the one-legged man. Ah, the one-legged man. I told you never to mention that cursed beast. Now get back there and finish brewing my stew. I feel the horrors coming on. Be gone! The horrors? I think I'll be going now. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's quick. Eh, Billy Bones, it's me, Bland Pew. Come to settle a score. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, though. He's blind, I think. He has two eye patches, I know that much. This, I have no cursor. Is this just a movie, basically? The black spot! No! <sighs> He's doomed to die. Oh, cool. Ooh. Interactivity. <laughs> It's alive! Holy shit, it's alive! Okay, uh. Billy Bones! <laughs> it's your old pal! Come to see you! Ah, see you! <laughs> Get it? I'm blind! I am blind! I cannot see! <laughs> what 
the fuck? Oh god. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. The black spot. The black spot. A real black spot? Uh, can I see it? I've never seen a real black spot before, Mr. B. Hey, hey, hold that door. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, watch out. This looks too good to be a, a, a game from when it was made. Oh, I broke the clock. Oh, no, it's fixed. It's good. It's good. I'm hey, good. hey, watch out. Did I really just make him hit into the door again? That's stupid. I'll go this way. The black spot got me. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Pirates, black spot, danger. And worst of all, the refrigerator's empty. Oh. What's this? Oh, more fire. What was that? The letter E. Billy, did you remember to check the expiration date on your explosives? <laughs> what? Hold on. <laughs> the black spot. The black spot. He's cursed. He's cursed to die. Uh, very treasure. Yeah, don't believe old Billy. I'll tell you, the whole matter is hogwash. If you pardon the expression. <laughs> okay. Where did he go? Uh -huh. Get the key, my key. Hey, thanks. Hawkins, this be the ghost of Captain Flint speaking. You may not know me, but this treasure you're after is mine. You hear that? Well, it's not castanets. It's me bones rattling with rage over the scoundrels trying to claim me gold. Hmm. Now, heed me words, Hawkins. Keep your eyes open and your noggin sharp. And you just might be the one to find the treasure. <laughs> if you're lucky. I bet you I'll be lucky. This no. be the ghost of Captain Flint speaking. Hawkins. Oh wow. Okay, more more of that. Ah, oh, seriously? I don't care. I can press space. Okay, thank God. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, that was the flame. Did I go the wrong way? Sp oh. Hmm. I'll look for a key. I'll look for a sledgehammer. Hmm. Hey, Hawkins, try this. Ooh. Magical. Ah! What's that? A broken paddle? Ah, the smell of adventure. Rotting wood, mold, mildew. Yep, that's adventure, all right. <laughs> Give me that. A fuzzy teddy bear. Give me all of this. Why am I taking everything? I don't know. Yikes! Dynamite! Looks like Billy's sea chest is booby trapped. He must be getting warmer. Now it's lit. Oh, there it is. I thought I was taking that stuff. <laughs> Hawkins. This be the ghost of Captain Flint speaking. If you want to find me buried treasure, you'll need more than a map to Treasure Island. <laughs> you'll need to find the four diamond-shaped rocks I left behind. Now these Why is he telling be the key me that? To the treasure, or your grave! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that makes no sense why he would tell me that. Open up! You know you're in there. Open up! You know you're in there. Looks like we've got two choices. A, we jump two stories into the vegetable cart below, or B, we stay here and face the deadly, angry, and very well-armed pirates. And C? There isn't a C. It's always a C. What kind of a game is this without a C? <laughs> there is a C. It's called TNT. Oh. Come on, Hawkins. That fuse can't burn forever. Oh, I don't know. It's lasted pretty long so far. I'm heightening the drama. Aren't you a little short for high drama? <laughs> that was bad. Pirates! <laughs> uh oh. We'd be taking that treasure map now! <laughs> What's that? I smell something burning. <laughs> nice! Look okay, out of training rats into whatever. I've had enough of this job. I'm out of here. Where do I have this job from? Oh, there's the rat. Oh, 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 that's gross. What a mess. Whew, oh, that was a close one. Now, if only there was some way to pass the time between here and Bristol. <laughs> 99 pieces of cheese on the wall. No! Not the pieces of cheese. Pass it around. 98 pieces of cheese on the wall. Oh, 98 pieces of cheese on the wall. 98 pieces of cheese. Is that really what this is going to do? 97 pieces of cheese on the wall. 97 pieces of cheese on the wall. 97 pieces of cheese. Hang on now. One piece of cheese on the wall. <laughs> Why don't you clean the molasses up so you can see it? Molasses, got it. This is a pretty interesting game. Now we need okay. a ship. Why? Well, we have a map to, you know, Treasure Island. Ah! Now we need a what? Ooh, hey, hey, sounds like intermission. I say we get some food. I say we find a ship. Let's head for the docks. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, there it goes. I think. <laughs> I have to interact with everything. What the fuck? Oh my god, is that Lou? I think that's Lou Zealand. Hey, you, you know, that squire is a real smart person. Yeah, you know, we, we went to Oxford together. Oxford University? Oh, you mean there's a university there? Thank you. You look like you're in a bit of a sticky wicket, friend. Well, why don't you go to the store and pick up some new clothes? Jeez. Okay. <gasps> okay, I guess I'm going this way. Hawkins, come on in. This place is great. <laughs> but. Yep, that was definitely Gonzo. What's, what's this? Good 
day, mate. That's a mighty fine eye patch you got on. Oh, it's an eye patch. Oh, I get it now. Man, this is one tough gig. Fast, slow, high, low. I can't keep up with these guys. Tell you what, take over my gig and you keep all the tips. Uh oh. Play around as long as you like. I'm out of here. I I'm scared. I'm scared about this. Um. Okay, Hawkins, this isn't a normal piano. This is a pirate piano. It plays itself. Now you have to listen to what the piano plays, then try to imitate exactly what you hear. If you get enough notes right, the piano will play an entire song. <laughs> now that's adventure. Ah. Oh. Yo, oh, mate, that song really brings me back. Here's a tip for your troubles. Oh, for a second. I thought it I thought it was gonna make me memorize that. Cool. Gonzo and Rizzo. Um, there we go. Okay, Hawkins, this isn't a normal. That song really brings me back. Oh, there's different buttons. Care to play a friendly game, mate? Here's some booty for your kitty. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to. Up she rises way head up she rises way head up she rises early in the morning Put her in the bed with the captain's daughter Put her in the bed with the captain's okay. daughter Care to play a friendly game mate? Man, that was some funky music you were playing. Must be some cool band you're in. Here's a coin for your groove. What's that W for? <laughs> you found the first rock, and you're still alive. You're doing better than most. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, thanks. Care to play a friendly game? Yes. Man. I gotta play hard now. song really brings me back. Here's a tip for your trouble. 
Uh, I'm Care just checking all of them. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Fuck! There we go. Get some booty for your kitty! <laughs> Cool. Now there's only two left. You play a friendly game, mate. I know that song. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, I didn't mean to click that one again. Do 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 Wait, what? There we go. Man, that was some funky music. Yo ho, blow the man down. Care to play a friendly? Oh, I did. Oh, fuck. Oh, I did it. That song really brings me. Cool. Why did I do that? I thought I told you to put on a matching eye patch. We have standards, you know. Uh -huh. So, there's only one rule in the spyglass. You have to wear an eye patch. So you take yours off. <laughs> what a rebel. Crack. Okay. Whoops, I guess. What if I go this way? Um, this way. Woohoo! Hey, Hawkins! <laughs> why don't you go inside? I ain't dressed for it. Yeah, neither am I. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll go inside. Hey, <laughs> yes. Oh, no, it's not the Swedish stuff. Hiya, Pooch. Stevenson's the name. Adventure parodying's my game. Oh, this is Hawkins. Say hi, Hawkins. Hey, we'd like to show the squire something, if you don't mind. 
Well, actually, I do mind that flung out of a burning building landed in a vegetable. There's Lion. I was waiting for him. Won't do. When do you want to see my mouth? His guest to be dressed appropriately. I require you retire that attire and return before the squire tires, attired in attire more desired by the squire. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Ah! Not in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> All that just to tell us that you need new clothes. How rude. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Oh my god. Lion. Hey there. You look like you could use some new clothes. Come on in. Oh yeah, you're here. Wanna hear uh, a fun fact? I was waiting for at least one person to be here to hear a fun fact. It's either Sesame Street or the Muppets. Because they're both Jim Henson stuff. So would you Wait, like to hear a fact? Muppets or Sesame Street, if you want to hear a fact. If you keep them parrots away from my store, you can earn enough for one of my Miss Your Edward specials over here. I'll pay you one doubloon for every nasty pirate you hit, but don't hit any of my customers, or I'll have to dock your pay. It's that simple. Oh my the god. My Buccaneer lunch launcher is ready for firing. Okay. You want a fun fact? Because that's what this is all about. Well, besides the charity and whatnot. What the hell is that? Oh. A fun fact. Let's see. Let's try to see a good one. Okay, here we go. No, actually not that one. Okay. The f I need to uh, do this real quick. The first... The first celebrity appearance on Sesame Street was James Earl Jones. Want to see a picture of him? Back when he was doing that? Oh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I have all these pictures for it. That was him back then. And known mostly as Mufasa from Lion King or Darth Vader from Star Wars. In a 1969 episode, he appeared in a segment where he slowly and carefully recited the alphabet with each letter appearing shortly after he said it. The show's creator noticed that kids would pay more attention due to the slow pace and anticipation of the letters. Upon a second viewing, they said the letters before James Earl Jones said them. Yeah, we're, me and Formy are okay. We're on good terms right now. But this was James Earl Jones. Can you believe that? He, he he looks so weird to me because of his brown eyes, I guess. But he's... He looks good. Put a pie on there. How do I shoot him? Damn it. I tried shooting him, but I didn't realize there was a red button right there. Nice. Nice shooting. Let me ring her oh. up. Have to be careful with this. And I saw what you said, Lion. I'm just. Here we go again. Q. 
Can't do the guy, that guy. The song is different. There we go. Not bad. I have like a whole list of facts, by the way. So if you ever want to hear a fact just randomly, just just tell me. And then I'll and then I'll look for a fact, a good one. Missed you, you good for nothing. God damn it, I missed. Got another. I could make it a button maybe. Let's see, how would I do that? How do you do that though? Let's see. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm not affiliate yet. I almost threw it at Bunsen. Oh no, it's okay. He thought I was affiliate, yeah. <sighs> Come on. I just need to get eight for this. Missed him. Give him another shot. Come on. Oh, Beaker. Damn it, again. I'm just trying to get the suit. Oh my god. Got him. Take that, you scoundrel. Two more. Oh. Shoots, you scores. One more. Ah, oh, I was hoping it was going to be one of the pirates again. Damn it. I kind of just want to sh shoot, but I think I, it would bring me down one. Done. Uh, hey, molasses, get a load of yourself in the mirror. Looks like you need some new clothes. Pop's cash register shows which outfits you can afford. Oh, God. Low battery. Hold on. There we go. Plugged in. This one. Did he just take out a phone? He took out a phone! That was way before Pirates. This one comes with two pairs of pants. But I don't know, it might be a bit formal for an ocean voyage. Hey, Hawkins, your business suit is right on the money. I'll bet the bear would be bullish on that. <laughs> Maybe. Let us go. Thanks for helping out. Hope to see you again. Bye. Now. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Now we go back this way. And then now we knock on the door. 
Edward. Is away on business, but his half -wit son will see you. Master Trelawney, these visitors say they Trelawney, have something to what? show you. Oh, what does that sound familiar? Jeeves, send them on up. Is that Fozzy? You now. Please proceed. Yep, it was Fozzy. Oh, uh, there. What can I do for you? Wait, I know. You've come to buy my latest brainstorm. It will change the world. It's called. A rubber chicken! Ah! How many can I put you down for? No, wait, let me get a quill. Okay, we hey, The squire wants to play show and tell. Now, you know what to show him, don't you? The compass, right? Right? Wrong! <laughs> you show him the map. I was testing. Stay on your toes, Hawkins! <laughs> wow! The map! The treasure island! Tell you what, you have the map, I have the ship. Let's be partners! Here's the official Trelawney seal of passage. Show it to Mr. Arrow, and he'll let you board the Hispaniola. Okay? <laughs> Aww, I wanted that seal. That's a big seal. for the seal, Squire. A Hawkins and I'll meet you at the boat. Oh, boy! We're going on an adventure to Treasure Island! Hey, Jeeves! I'm going on a trip! Pack my I have another fun fact. I'm gonna say it. It's for oh, Sesame Street. Oh, oh, cool. So sensitive. I have another fun fact. Uh, this time it's Sesame Street. Actually, was it Sesame Street last time? I think it was. Yeah, it was. This one's another Sesame Street one. In 2015, Sesame Street introduced a four-year-old Muppet with autism. Let me see if I can find the thing. I have up oh, there. It is. There she is. Um, the key, uh, the character was originally created by Leslie Kimmelman for the digital storybook. We're Amazing 123, that's the name of the book. She used her own experience as a mother of an autistic child as well as advice from the autism community for the story. In 2018, she appeared at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade wearing noise-canceling headphones to keep the noise from the parade from upsetting her. Interesting, right? And I can tell you that she is probably the best Muppet. Like best interpretation I've seen of autism because there's there's somebody first of all it's a mother of an autistic child and got advice from the autism community so like come on that's amazing like going that far and then the doll the doll is really small I mean the Muppet is very small but very much awesome, if that makes sense. Again, Gonzo. Good work, Beaky. Oh no, that was Beaky this time. That's all science lesson, young Master Trelawney. Tomorrow we will study oceanography. Come along, Beaky. Come on. I love Beaker. Always gets the short end. I heard some really great things about you from the squire. Cool. What's this? That squire Trelawney is no rocket scientist, but he's smart when it comes to building ships. Um, yeah, ro rockets haven't been invented yet. Oh, right. Uh, that's where Trelawney is no horse and buggy scientist, but he's smart when it comes to building ships. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. And this way. Come on, Hawkins. They're getting ready to sail. <laughs> Which one? This one? Which one? Which one? Get on a ship soon. 
But we may have to find an honest job in Bristol. An honest job? I'd rather be gullied. That can be arranged, mate. That can be arranged. Uh, let's keep looking. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep looking. I mean, no. What? Huh? Hispaniola! Waka waka! That's all I can think of. I'll meet you on board in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, that's my bird. That's my birdie friend. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I can see that you have the Trelawney seal of passage. You have obviously found favor with the squire. Welcome aboard the Hispaniola. <laughs> It's kinda He doesn't sound how I remember him. I oh, guess I remembered him a little gruffier. I'd like to welcome you aboard the Hispaniola. I've heard some really great things about you from the squire. Mm -hmm. I sense that you have what it takes to be a sailor, but you have much to learn about the sea. Hey Lion, you still there? I've arranged a series of lessons for you that are sure to help you become a full I'm just wondering, sailor. just out of curiosity. So, Hawkins, as part of your training, you must do the following. Help Mr. Silver in the galley, load the jolly boat, fire the cannon, weigh the anchor, and build your own ship model. After you've finished all your lessons, come see me at the helm, and I'll show you how to steer the Hispaniola to Treasure Island. Hmm. What the hell? That's insane. <laughs> This. this is your chore list. It shows a build your own ship model. Build my own ship model again. Hey pal, climb on up. The view is first class. <laughs> okay, what was that? In order, maybe? Pirate. Pirate, pirate, pirate. Hey, your Use my nose to help lift the crates into the jolly boat. Just move the crates into position. <laughs> Beautiful day for sailing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. F All hands on deck. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. <sighs> my hands are on deck. Captain. Oh my God. Kevin Mate Hawkins, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to the Cannon Blaster Pro, the finest oh cannon we've ever made. Actually, it's the only cannon we've ever made. <laughs> According to the captain, you need to learn how to fire the cannon. Give me a call if you need any instructions. Come along, Beaky, it's time for our next experiment. Ding! Allow me to give you some brief instructions regarding the Cannon Blaster Got it. Pro. <clears throat> to turn the cannon left and right, use the arrows. I kind of guess that. To fire the cannon, use the red button. Oh, there there's a red button. Oh, no, that's an apple. Where's the red button? Oh, red button right there. Right. Is that a red button? Wait, do I have to use the arrow keys for this? Like a good day for adventure, eh? Tim August? Curry, I think his name was, if I remember correctly. Red button. That's the red button. Why isn't it letting me sh fire? Oh, Ooh, we're getting closer. Try again. Damn it, I did it too fast. The clock now.
Yes, I did it. Interesting. Let's try a bowling ball now. Oh, I missed. That's a tough one. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I'm good. I learned how to use it. Might I remind you that one of your lessons is you weigh the anchor. Oh, that, that, that's okay, Mr. Arrow. I already weighed it. It weighs 367 and three quarter pounds. Fuzzy is like my least favorite. You know what? Let me see if I can find that one fact. Hold on. It's about. Oh my god, hold on. I'm trying to find it. I could have sworn I had one. I think I remember what it was off the top of my head, but I need to look for it. It was so good. It was such a good one. Hold on. I'm trying my hardest to find it right now. I'm having some trouble. I wonder if I deleted that fact. Hmm. Well, at the top of my head, I had a fact, but I don't know if... Ah, here it is. Okay. So, there's a Muppet that occurs in, like, every Muppet... Anything Muppet-related. Except for Sesame Street, I think. And I'm still trying to look real quick because I must have it. Okay, let me, I'll just look it up because I know what to look up.
Okay, here we go. So yeah, he was only made for one sketch. Well, supposedly he was only supposed to be one sketch. His name is Lou Zealand. It's like New Zealand, but with an L, okay? But, he was in every Muppet thing after that episode. This character. Probably one of the best characters because all he really does is throw a fish. And it's so funny. Because randomly he just throws a fish at somebody. It's like, look at him! He, he has such a friendly face and it's actually kind of creepy if you look at it, right? But probably one of my favorites. So that's another fact. Okay, let's see. Let's see, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh yeah, the anchor. No, you fuck. I wonder where we're going. I had a map. Tell you. How how do I loosen the anchor now? Oh, okay, I see. There we go. Anchors away. There goes Beaker. Where's Bunsen? Oh, I thought Bunsen would do it. Outstanding, Hawkins. I hear you and the Squire have weighed the anchor in magnificent fashion. We now can safely anchor the Hispaniola when we get to Treasure Island. Hmm. Treasure Island. I, I can't do his voice. I can do Treasure Island. Or whatever. Whatever. I tried to do Zordberg. I can't do Zordberg. Beautiful again. day for sailing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I have to make. Hey, you're coming with us. I have to make a boat. Hey, pal, climb on up. The view is first class. Don't I have to put the mainsail up or something? Alright, here we go. I don't get what the difference is. Oh shit! Oh, I get it now. There goes all the sails. Hmm. Go, fall. Finally, he fell. It took him long enough. A restaurant in the crow's nest? This seems highly irregular. This is amazing. I love this game already. Um, let's see. How do I, uh... Okay, I guess I'm going back down. Go ahead, mate. Climb on up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But be careful. Well, we wouldn't want you to fall. It's a long way down. Yeah, a very long way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't bother you. The Union Jack is the flag of Mother England. Okay, I don't care. Oh yeah, I have to learn how to drive it. Okay. I like to know one thing, Mr. Harold. Yes, sir. Who hired this? Crew? I'm gonna fucking. This is without a doubt, the tediest lot of cutthroats, villains, and scoundrels I have ever seen. I will un. Captain, nobody, nobody type that in. Forty lashes and walk the plank. I uh, know, Mr. Arrow. How about one lash and we make him walk the plank forty times? No lashes and no plank. Aye, aye, sir. How about a stern talking to and a couple of How shame do I on you? Delete that. That's more like it. Good day, Mr. Arrow. Good day. Mm. Mm. How do I get rid of that? 
because that's on YouTube. You guys can't see it, but I can. Or you can't see it, but I definitely can. Hmm. Sorry, I, I went on to YouTube real quick. Don't type that in. Like. I'm live right now on YouTube and on Twitch. So I need to go on to my YouTube live stream. Gotta mute that. Uh, let me let me edit something real quick. Dashboard. Mentally healthy. Actually, can't I check who donated? I remember somebody donated that one time and. Lion? I, kn I know who did it now. That donated that one dollar. Thank you, Lion. But, um, why? <laughs> why? I mean, yes, it is funny. It's hilarious. I love it. But, why? Now, now, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, dang it, YouTube? If you're watching this on YouTube, I just added in the description of this live stream if you would like to donate and then I put the link. So if you would like to donate, go to that link. But, Lion, I know it was you that donated that one dollar now and I very much appreciate it, but seriously? <laughs> the name. I know it was you. I know it was you. You can't, you can't tell me it wasn't. I, I have proof. I have a whole highlight where's you being a horn dog. I know it's you. You lied to me yesterday. No, I'm just. I didn't realize you could actually, like, look at it. But I have proof and I'll send you over Discord the proof. I mean, of course I knew it was you because you said, who sent you that one dollar? And I didn't know who it was. I legit didn't know and you were just playing it off as if it wasn't you. But uh, now I know it's you. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I'm gonna send you the picture. Okay. Of course I would spin it. And that too, apparently. Hi ho Hawkins. Here's a little game I picked up on my travels around the world. I know how to play when this game already. They wave flags like the ones you see before you. Match the flags on my desk and we'll see what stories they have to tell. One simple rule. You can only match a flag that is free on either its left or right side. Go ahead, give it a go. Who 
Wait, how do I play this? Oh, Smalley. Though you may be I don't care. How do I play this? Oh, I get it now. Wait, did I mess up? Wait, what? Okay, this game makes no sense. Oh. It was not the same. Okay, let's see this one right over here, 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 somewhere. Mm -hmm. I can't figure this one out. I don't know why. Do I have to do this first? There we go. Oh, I get it now. Hold on. I almost did it, but I'm not quite there yet. Excellent. I did it. Oh, that was difficult. Okay, that made no sense. Just a little mini game, I guess. Let's see. Oh yeah, the um the band from it I can't remember for some reason. Whoa, extreme close-up. Okay, Hawkins, you're looking at the inside of my wing. My wing oh. is where I carry our stuff. Now, when you want to close my wing, just tap on any of my green feathers. If you ever want to leave our adventure, just tap on the door. If you want to load or save an adventure, just tap the load or save buttons. Tap anything else to take a closer look. Oh, and uh, Hawkins, <laughs> be careful where you tap, okay? Because... <laughs> I'm ticklish! Oh, oh, oh feathers! <laughs> feathers! <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I need to do something.
Okay, I'm back. Took me a second. How do I go back? Oh, there we go. Hmm, could be a storm brewing. I suggest we keep our eyes open. This is just that too. Uh, in here. Hey, Gundo, this oh yeah. Like Billy Bones warned us about. He's got one leg. So what? So do I. Yeah, but you got another one next to it. Ah. <laughs> You must be Hawkins. Long John Silver is my name. I'm making an apple dumpling and could use your help filling the pot with apples. You're a fine sort of a Long John to feed his crew. Give the dinner bell a ring when you're done. <laughs> That's a pie, not a dumpling. Oh, apple. This is like a fever dream. A parrot on a shoulder? Now I've seen everything. I'm going back to my perch. <laughs> oh, it's the talking f uh, vegetables. Bastard rat. Oh, this one has a worm in it. Bonus <laughs> and a whole one to boot. <laughs> <sighs> that rat bastard. <laughs> Apples coming, Hawkins. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Fuck you, rat. Keep those apples coming, Hawkins. I'm rat on a bastard. Roll. <laughs> Now there's a rat in the pie, or whatever it is. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, I just ate it. I didn't mean to eat it. Mmm, Macintosh. Hmm, maybe Pippin. What? That's an apple too. <laughs> okay. He had another one. Yep, I knew that was coming. This one? Nope. Keep those apples coming, Hawkins. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Fuck Rizzo. Ooh, oh, I can't eat another apple. You win, Hawkins. <laughs> Excellent job, Hawkins. You did a fine job helping Mr. Silver. You're cooking now. <clears throat> now I have to cook. Okay, let's see. What did I do already? I thought I did the cannon. Okay, apparently not. Apparently I didn't learn it. How do I save though? If I want to save. Um. How? How to save in Muppet Treasure Island? How do I find out how to How do I save? Fuck you, Lou. Ah, yes, Hawkins. I 
see you're back for another... Try again. Damn it. Okay, now I know where to. Done, Hawkins. You fired that cannon like a seasoned deckhand. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I think I, I think I completed that one. What's this about? I see now that wasn't a hook like I thought it was. I've heard of keeping one's nose to the grindstone, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> there you go, Gonzo, That's with your hook nose. <laughs> Nobody truly knows what he is. Oh, fucking. Oh, hey, ten. Sure feels good. Oh, I thought that would be you. Okay, hold on. Gotta go on to YouTube. Because some people just don't know when to not post things. I'm gonna have to keep that open. Along with Twitch, maybe. Just in case. Because some people don't learn that their message will be deleted if it's nothing good. There we go. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, <laughs> that does it. Oh, good work, Hawkins. Thanks to you, the jolly boat is loaded with provisions. Ooh. Thanks to who? Oh, if you seem to recall, it was me who got his nose bent out of shape. Oh, how quickly we forget. But, Lion, are you still there? Because if you are, I'm not blaming you. Okay, let's see. Build a model? How do I build a model of a ship? Wait, are you driving the boat right now? Hey. <laughs> hey Hawkins, we're sailing now. <laughs> <laughs> the aft is the back of the boat, the four is in front. I thought the four was between the three and the five. Waka waka. Oh my god. The aft is the back of the boat. Okay, I don't care. Why what the fuck? How do I make a boat though? How do 
I make the buck? Okay, hold on. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, look, I found, I found one of the pieces. Well, that's two rocks, Hawkins. You're either halfway to gold or halfway to your grave. <laughs> hey, thanks. Okay, let's go back, I guess. The app. Hmm. See those lines? That's the rigging. Hmm. Oh, I see. I knew this ship was rigged. Better the ship than the game, wouldn't you say, Hawkins? <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Hey, Hawkins, we're sailing now. <laughs> oh, ooh. And Billy Bone said you were the one to fear. He said what? Well, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Looking around to build a ship. All hands on deck. That's it, man. Work harder. We'll make you walk a walk up the plank. Ah, thank you, thank you. What about this? Why is he everywhere but where he should be? Lower the gangway. What about the henway? What's a henway? About three pounds. Ah! You didn't get it? Oh, not you again. It's just. Beautiful day for sailing, isn't it? Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't get this part. Hey, pal, climb on up. I can get the one all the way in the back, though. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait a second. What's that smell? It smells like it's coming from below. Oh, it smells like. I think it's. It's Rockford! Oh, oh, this requires further examination. Hey, Rizzo, save some for me. I'm way down. Yeah, a very. I'm trying to figure out this part, but it's not letting me. Ah, uh, too far. Oh, I found it. I found the part that I need to figure out. I think it's, if anything, it would be up here. 
and then into here. What the fuck? Oh. And then, I'm just guessing here. Ah, uh, here it is. You're gonna be a sailor, Hawkins. You're gonna have to learn all about the main parts of a ship. Building models is a good way to do that. Okay, I've figured it out finally. Located at the stern is the helm. That's the raised area from which you steer the ship. Now, the word helm is also used to describe the ship's steering wheel. Hawkins at the helm. I like the way that sounds. Located at the base of the stern is the rudder. The rudder sits in the water and helps guide the ship through the water. Without its rudder, a ship would not be able to stay on course. Hmm, of course. The rear of the ship is called the stern, and stern also happens to describe Mr. Arrow, our distinguished first mate. The captain's quarters, where we are now, is located in the stern on this ship. The main body of the ship is called the hull of the ship. You're right, Captain. That's a hull of a ship. Ah! The main deck is found on the top of the hull and runs the length of the ship. Super Grover. 